as we all know, the next season of Fortnite is gonna have a massive Greek mythology theme. And the update we received earlier this week literally added numerous different teasers, alongside a ton of Chapter 5 Season 2 leaks, including the Battle Pass trailer and so much more, all of which we're gonna cover right here in this video. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 111 days, whenever you log on to Fortnite, this'll happen. No! But if you do with the thumbs up button, in exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. We've wasted too much time, ladies and gentlemen. Chapter 5 Season 2 has literally leaked. We got a bunch of awesome stuff to cover. Let's get into it. Now, super quickly, before we reveal the biggest Chapter 5 Season 2 leak, first things first, we've known for a while now, the theme of the next season is going to be directly related to Greek mythology. The way the story goes before us, the Loopers, actually ever arrived on the Chapter 5 island was first inhabited by an ancient civilization. Now, you're still able to find some remnants of them currently on the Chapter 5 island, being all of those different Greek mythology buildings are essentially half destroyed. Now, all of this is tied to Valeria, who is essentially one of the main leaders of the society and is obsessed with knowledge. As we know throughout this entire season, she has been obsessed with this one book, and inside of this book, it talks about a few different ancient artifacts that were left behind by the civilization that previously inhabited our island. Most important out of all of these actually being this mysterious box she's been searching for for a while now. It all started off with this little campsite set up by Valeria right outside of Ruined Reels, until this week where that very same campsite has been moved to an entirely brand new location. Left in the spot of her original campsite, you're able to find a Cerebrus logo, and this will be very important in a second. But first, Valeria currently has her telescope set up and pointed at a very, very interesting location. At first, we thought it was looking at the giant iceberg that's been slowly melting right outside of Grand Glacier. But that's not the case at all, and it's actually focused on this little area right outside of Ruined Reels. Now, located under this exact spot is actually the box Valeria has been looking for all season long. Coming up here in the next couple days, when Valeria finally gets her hand on Pandora's box, this exact thing you see on your screen right now will spawn in that exact area I just showed you. Obviously, you're able to see that mysterious box she was looking for is present here, but most importantly, you're able to see a giant hand that appears to be cracked and have a bunch of lava coming out of it. The hand itself actually belongs to our very first Battle Pass skin in Chapter 5 Season 2, being a Greek god known as Hades. He is essentially the ruler of the underworld. All of this ties back to that Cerebrus head that was left in place of Valeria's campsite, because in Greek mythology, a Cerebrus is actually a monstrous three-headed watchdog who rules over the underworld alongside Hades. Making it likely that this giant hand sticking out of the Fortnite island, likely actually reaching up from the underworld itself, connecting us to the underworld will have a huge effect on the Fortnite island. Next season, we're going to see a bunch of earthquakes going down, as well as a bunch of tornadoes and other natural disasters. And don't worry, we're just about to the biggest season two leak. The first one of the characters added to the island in the brand new update actually includes a massive teaser about chapter five season two. Just check this out in her character description. It says she seeks answers about a mysterious mosaic connected to an ancient power. And this mosaic has already leaked. You're able to see it on your screen right now. Obviously, in the center, you're able to see that exact same Cerebrus head alongside two additional heads located right next to it, 100% confirming that this is a reference to Cerebrus, three-headed dog who guards the underworld. We do know Cerebrus will be one of the bosses on the Chapter 5 Season 2 island, alongside a Zeus boss, the god of lightning, and we'll even have this super awesome lightning mythic ability. It doesn't end there because there is also this ancient mosaic that teases a few different things. First things first, you're able to find a few different references to the upcoming Mount Olympus location we'll see next season, as well as a teaser for an upcoming Helios or Sun God skin that will without a doubt be one of the skins present in the next season's battle pass, as well as the connection to the underworld at the very, very bottom. And our mission over the upcoming weeks is actually going to be to help the new Odyssey character go around the map and collect all the different pieces of this mosaic, with the first one being that Cerebrus head left at Valeria's original campsite. However, as we continue to help the Odyssey on our mission, more and more will be revealed about what's to come in season two. For example, it's explained that after Benson Jones and the Underground were successful in saving PLE, the society faction disbanded, meaning that they're no longer active on the Fortnite island. And Odyssey, showing up that very same day wasn't a coincidence at all, because after the ancient civilization that previously inhabited the island left, the society ended up taking control and were responsible for preventing the underworld from ever merging with our reality. So now that they're gone, Odyssey has arrived to try and keep things in check. Cheers! 
herself seems to know the most about what's going on. And she has some very, very cryptic conversations. Like one, where she mentions that she can feel an ancient power growing. And another one saying the mosaic is the key to what is coming. It bears a warning. Obviously, the warning she's describing is related to the underworld, Cerebrus, and Hades that are about to make their way into our universe once Valeria opens up the box. But that's what I'm messing around. It's finally time for the biggest leak. This actually has to do with some teasers that Epic Games released in real life. Obviously, this isn't the first time Fortnite has done this, and they've done it numerous different times in the past, like in Fortnite Chapter 1, where they literally hit a giant Durburger head in the desert for us to find. Even more recently, like before Fortnite OG release, where they sent out these teaser boxes to a bunch of different creators, and included a bunch of different things like the OG music track, bunch of pins, and other teasers for the upcoming season. Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, Epic Games has done the exact same thing. Let's check out this clip from Lachlan. Uh, I actually got a message from Epic yesterday. They're sending something to the power office because we had to confirm it because it's big. And I'm interested to see what it is. I think it's pretty safe to assume that this package will actually contain a real life version of Pandora's box. It will obviously contain a bunch of teasers. I think it's safe to assume one of those is going to be the Cerebrus head. Now, let's cover the Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass. So far, a few different skins have already been confirmed, like Cerebrus. And thankfully, this skin is already leaked. You can see what it looks like on your screen right now. Keep in mind, this will only be the actual Cerebrus skin. And the three-headed dog will be something different that will spawn whenever you're fighting his boss. Next up, we have Zeus, the god of thunder. You know this, since he himself was literally teased in the upcoming mosaic, we'll have to help Odyssey construct. Following that, we have Hades, the god of the underworld. Originally, many people thought this leaked concept you can see on your screen right now was going to be the Hades skin. After seeing what his arm is going to look like once it spawns on the Fortnite island, it's very, very clear that this skin concept isn't him at all. We'll likely have to wait for the release of season two before finding out what he actually looks like. Other than that, many people believe that Odyssey herself is actually gonna be the tier one skin since inside of the fortnite game files she has this super awesome golden selectable style that is not yet in game personally i don't think there's a very good chance that she'll actually be a part of the battle pass not just because her skin itself doesn't really look that special but mainly because we've never really seen a battle pass skin added as an npc to the island before a season releases leading me to believe that she'll probably just be released in the item shop before this season comes to a close i know the season hasn't come out yet but hear me out i think without a doubt this is already looking to be one of the greatest seasons ever. Storyline is awesome. All of it will start with Valeria finding the box that will spawn in the giant hand of Hades, the god of the underworld under the Fortnite island. That will cause havoc, spawning in a bunch of tornadoes. It's even came out that a bunch of lava is going to take over the island as well. And you can't forget, all of this ties directly back to Midas, because as the lava continues to take over more and more of the island, Midas is actually going to have his very own game mode called Midas Presents Flora's Lava. Alrighty, lads, you know what? We only have 70 more lads remaining. Oh, Nisha's still at fencing fields. You already know what I'm about to do. And that is eliminate her. Come here, baby. We're lighting you up. You're going down, Nisha. Hold still for me, buddy. I'm out of ammo, though. This is terrible. Hold still for me, lads. Hold still, Nisha. She's almost dead. She's almost dead. Yes! We eliminated her. Thank you so much, mate. I'll take your medallion. I'll definitely take your mythic AR. You already know we gotta head to the vault, boys. Please give me something good, bro. Please. All right, let's see what we got. Garbage. Please, please, please. Ooh, we actually got something good. Let's go. Bad news, though, boys. The zone is about to swallow us up. Oh, we got to move for the zone again. Gosh dang it. I don't know if I should eliminate those guys, dude. I've literally never done it. Oh, what up, buddy? I see you. Let's get involved. We're going to grapple over to him. What do you say? Come back here, buddy. Stop running. What? The worst aim anybody's ever aimed right there. Ah. Donatello staff. I'll definitely take that. What the heck? This guy came out of nowhere. Go and get him, shall we, boys? What? Ah, yes. Oh, dude, I totally forgot the Peely skin. Starts getting more rotten as the game goes on. I love how his little head just sticks out the top of the Lamborghini, dude. That's geek. Oh, we got a gunfight going down right here. What do you say we turn them into pancakes? Let's do it. What? I literally missed them both. I missed them both. Come on. No way. They're not making this easy on me at all, are they? Got him. Ooh, and right here. Okay. All right. Oh, buddy. Whoa, where did my shield just go? It was this guy. It was this guy right here. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Whoa. -hoo! Oh, there's some in here. What the heck? Oh, pretty sure there's another one in here, though. Oh, yes. Oh, some of the final enemies. Right here, baby. Okay. Tim, this is the last one. 
Yes, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a big victory royale. More and more leaks keep coming out every single hour about Chapter 5 Season 2. I'm going to tweet them all out over my Twitter account for you guys at home at GamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.